Okay, so we're back out here tonight. I'm going to try and get some better footage on the uh, surface finishes left with these tools. I'm going to do uh, another heavy rough end with this big Ingersoll insert. And then I'm going to do some, finish it out with uh, this uh, TNMG 432. That's the most common size I use. Uh, it's basically the same spindle as I did in the other video. I'm just going to show uh, doing the basic turning on it. I'm not going to do a whole series on it, but I want to try and get some better footage on the, the actual turning work and the surface finish that it produced so that you can see how that goes. And I'll uh, try and document what the, tell you what the speeds and feeds are for those that are interested in that. So let's fire this thing up and get going. All right, so back 40 thousandths. Half inch. This time here we're at uh, 2,300, so we're only taking uh, 200 thousandths off the diameter, 100 thousandths depth of cut. So I'm going to speed it up to 60 thousandths. See what that does. Obviously that's a pretty rough finish there because of the feed rate. Uh, let's, uh, let's change to the triangle insert, smooth this out. See the edge there, didn't bother it a bit. You see there where the power went out, it did bother it. Took that to corner out when it backed up, when it shut off. Should have had the right heat uh, heaters in the motor starter, and that wouldn't ever been a problem. But something I've been meaning to do and haven't changed since I've had this in here. But this is the first time I've pulled enough load on this lathe for a long enough period of time. Man, it's hot out here today. It's 92 or 3 degrees, something like that in the shade. So, no doubt I contributed to tripping that out. But that's what you learn. So...
chips here. Uh, that's it. And, um, left a really nice finish on that. 